Hello everyone, I'm Chibi Kage and I'm playing some more The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Champions Ballad. We're on to the next little hide and seek game of Go Through the Rings. That was the challenge. I guess we don't need to bring up the picture anymore. So here we go Through the Rings. Um, hello. Goodbye. So where will these rings take us? That is the question. Oop. Yep, next one's over there. It's like that seal, sand seal race. We had to go between the flags. Well, fall the flags or something. Oh, it's fine. I'm glad we get to play something like that again. Well, that was pretty simple to find. It didn't even take us a uh, minute 30 to even find this next shrine. Oh well. So now that we got the new shrine, we got a new puzzle to do. Let's see what kind of difficult puzzle this could be. What did they think of this time? The last puzzle with the box full of balls was a good one. So how about this one? You to set foot in my shrine. I am Takama Shiri. Dual purpose. Ooh, so things could have more than one purpose? Interesting. Okay. So I see the dual purpose here. One, we gotta get across this. But, we can't really step on it, otherwise it'll electrocute us. Ooh. Interesting. Shocking! <laughs> Unshockable! About time this rubber suit came in handy. Alright, so what's our destination? Okay, so we want to put this over there. This. We also want to get further up. Oop, too far. Get that block. There we go. You know, that might have been made too easy with the whole unshockable thing. Well, if you want to do it without the whole shocky shocky. Then here you go. So you know you can get over there pretty easily without the shocky shocky. Then just come over to here, set it up like this, and move this over there. And you avoid the shocky shocky. Without the shock proof suit. In fact, let's actually take the shock suit. Shoot. Suit. Yeah. Can't speak. I lost the ability of speech? No! Let's take off the shock proof suit and do this without it. You know, make it more interesting. 
first, I see orange over here. So there's something here. So this is the treasure chest puzzle we're going to do right now. But you just have to do something like this. And take this, touch that, that should open the door. The chest is mine! Okay. But at this point in the game, there's not really much I need. Alright, so where's the destination we need to get to? Okay, it looks like the thing we need to open is here. But we also want it to be up. This is the only thing I got that can actually get me up there. Up. Okay. I don't think we even need this one. Alright then. So now we need to somehow get all of that into place. This needs to be there. That pretty much needs to be there. And we've done it. Another puzzle solved by the great puzzle solver Chibikage89. Puzzles are fun. Well, most of the time, puzzles are fun. At least to me. So that is the third Nabora symbol. Now that you have collected three emblems, you must go to Divine Beast Vahanoboris. Okie dokie. So, what will happen next after we have the three symbols of Van Maboris Naboris? Van Naboris. Uh, one way to find out. Let's head to the camel. So what's going to happen? I'm curious to find out. Hey, Naboris! I was told to come see you! The one who approaches this divine beast, in the name of the gods highly I offer this trial. In exchange for Nabor's emblems, he will be granted the chance to tread through the realm of memories. Those who lack determination will find this trial unforgiving. Do not take this place lightly, nor dismiss it as merely a word within your mind. The truth is much deeper than you know. Very well then. Show me what you got. The 
white void. I wasn't prepared for this. I can't even see myself. It's a white void. Oh, wait, nope. Here we go. Hey, I got this garb. This Lucia realm was created from the depths of your memories. The enemy you shall face is a product of the fear that dwells within. You must overcome this fear to proceed. I fear nothing. This battle is a trial of the soul. You must emerge victorious using only the tools provided. Oh. You look familiar. Have I killed you before? I have a feeling I killed you before. Ow. Uh, ow. Where's my shield? There it is. Oh, hello. Okay, dude, you're going down. Oh, I got no bow. Well, that didn't really work the way I wanted, but okay. Weapon I get. Okay, I only got two weapons. Only shields. Only armors. My only food? It's a good thing I rock. Otherwise, this would have been a problem. Especially since this is master mode. Ow. Hey, you. You suck. You say you're the power of thunder. I say I'm lightning. I'm the actual thing, you're just a sound. Where is he? There you are. Uh, no, that didn't work. Yeah, that didn't work either. Let's get a better position on this. There you go. Hello there. Missed. But I won't miss again. You know, you are my least f f favorite of the blights. Ow! Ow. You 
You must go down. Yeah. That's not a good. Ow. Um, this is really not a good. Ow! Okay. Thank you. Will you stop that? I hate that he's electrically charged. Get shocked. You had your chance. No more Mr. Nice Chibi. So how do you like them apples, Thunder Blight? I guess he didn't like it. Thus was the end of Thunderblight once again. Hello, Cass. Whoops. Sorry about that. I accidentally hit the table that was holding my mic. Oh, my, my. For some, the best part of traveling alone is the freedom to get lost in thought, with only the wind to distract you. Ah. Uh, Wandering around here and listening to, and s I don't know that word. I never got past middle school English. About Champion Obosa has truly invigorated me. In fact, it has inspired me to honor her in my own way, separate from my teacher's unfinished song. That is why I felt inclined to roost here near the divine beast Van Noboris which Ubosa herself mastered. <clears throat> I've written a song to try and capture the essence of her champion Ubosa. Princess of Hyrule, I accept your proposition without hesitation. Not only are they planning to resurrect Calamity Ganon, it seems the Yiga clan is also after our treasured heirloom. You have my word. I won't rest until the Calamity falls. Gerudo Chief Obosa. On behalf of Hyrule and its king, I thank you. <laughs> I've never seen you so serious, Urbosa. Oh my. I can't say the same. 
Ten years ago, you rarely smiled, my little bird. Bobosa, I feel like you've called me Little Bird before. I was wondering where you got that name from. Huh? Halt and face me. Unlike you traitors, I prefer to fight my enemies head on. So there are the Yiga clan. Do your worst. <laughs> Nice counter. She's good. And that was hilarious. Out of respect for our princess, you may keep your lives. Now go. You asked me why I call you Little Bird. Huh? When you were but a small child, my dear friend called you that with the sweetest smile that ever graced our land of Hyrule. You mean Mother? It was ten long years ago. Your mother had just left this world. Yet her little bird still spread her wings and became the beacon of light Hyrule needed. Sometimes I forget myself and get lost in the past. That was beautiful. I didn't know we were beginning that this many cutscenes in this DLC. Makes the last one look like nothing. Mm. I really liked it. Mm. I was struck by realization that the missing parts of the song can only be finished by my teacher's pupil, by me. Who is your teacher? You are an impressive bow. You may now wield Urbosa's fury far more often. Urbosa? The pride of Hyrule, hero. Take care of our princess. I'm leaving that honor in your capable hands. Urbosa's fury plus! It now requires less time to recharge. Well, that was interesting. That's a pretty decent reward. So then, which divine beast shall we go for next? Find out in the next exciting episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Champions Ballad. Till then, goodbye.